I've got three vegan dinner ideas for you, all of which can be enjoyed out of the comfort of a bowl. All of these meals are balanced with whole grains, a rainbow of vegetables, plant-based protein sources, and some healthy fats to satisfy your taste buds and to keep your cells nourished. You can enjoy these recipes for dinner or make plenty of extra to enjoy as leftovers in the days that follow. All right, let's get started. We'll start by making this autumn glow nourish bowl, perfect for this time of year. For this, we'll need sweet potatoes. You can peel it or leave the skin on. We'll also need two and a half cups of Brussels sprouts. I cut off the brown ends and stripped away any yellow outer leaves. And make sure to thoroughly rinse it to remove any dirt. Then cut the sweet potatoes into small cubes and add it to a baking dish lined with baking paper. Then thinly slice one medium red onion and finely mince two cloves of garlic. We'll then cut the Brussels sprouts in half and add this to the baking dish as well. Toss everything together in about a tablespoon of olive oil and bake it in the oven at 425 Fahrenheit or 220 Celsius for about 50 minutes or until it's cooked to your liking. By the way, I do have a shortcut method that takes just 20 minutes to prepare, so if you're looking for a quicker meal, make sure you check out the blog post for this recipe to learn more. All right, let's get back into it. While this bakes, we'll rinse and drain a cup and a half of quinoa and add it to a pot with just over two cups of water and also add in one crushed vegetable bouillon cube. Bring this to a boil and reduce to a simmer and cover it with a lid. Meanwhile, we'll make this golden glow sauce using a quarter cup of tahini, three tablespoons of water, a teaspoon of miso paste, a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, half a teaspoon each of turmeric and onion powder, some freshly cracked black pepper, as well as the juice of half of a lemon. Then blend it or whisk it by hand until it's creamy. At this point, the veggies should be done baking, and then we're just gonna assemble the nourish bowl by adding some leafy greens as the base, adding on the quinoa, the roasted veggies, some dried cranberries, some pomegranate seeds, some chopped roasted almonds, and finally drizzle on that golden glow sauce. This bowl feels like the perfect combination of ingredients for autumn, and you can just feel it nourishing every cell in your body. You can enjoy it for dinner or leftovers for lunch, and it can be enjoyed hot or cold. Either way, it's delicious. Now we're moving on to our second nourish bowl, the deconstructed sushi bowl with a sweet sesame dressing. For this, we'll first wash and rinse a cup and a half of brown rice, and then I like to soak it in water overnight to reduce the cooking time by about half. By the way, there are many other benefits to soaking ahead of time, so I try to do this as often as is possible. I've already written an article about it on the Pickup Limes blog, so I'll leave that link for you in the description box below. But if you didn't get a chance to soak your rice ahead of time, it's not a big deal. It's just gonna require a little bit more water and a little bit of extra cooking time. After soaking overnight, I added the drained rice to a pot and added just over two cups of water, brought it to a boil and reduced it to a simmer until it cooked, which takes about 20 minutes. Now while the rice cooks, we'll prepare the assortment of add-ins. This recipe is perfect for families with picky toddlers or for when you're inviting over guests because it allows each person to choose what they want to add into their bowls. I started with a cup and a half of frozen shelled edamame beans, adding it to a pot with boiling water for just three minutes or according to your package directions. These little beans, by the way, are loaded with protein. I then peeled and chopped one ripe mango, finely minced half a red onion, coarsely chopped a quarter of a cucumber, finely minced some green onions, and chopped about a quarter of a small head of purple cabbage. Then I thinly sliced a ripe avocado, and I also like to use this store-bought seaweed salad, which can be found either fresh or frozen at many Asian supermarkets. Alternatively, you can use dried seaweed ripped into shreds or just omit this altogether. Now to make the sweet sesame dressing, we'll need two tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce, two teaspoons of sesame oil, two teaspoons of agave syrup, a teaspoon of onion powder, and the juice of one lime. Then whisk it until it's properly mixed. This dressing alone is what makes this recipe taste like sushi in a bowl, in my opinion. To assemble the bowl, we'll just top the rice with any of the add-ins we've just prepared. You can get really creative with this one, adding your own twist of ingredients like sauteed mushrooms or shredded carrots. I also topped it with a little bit of fried onion, although this is optional, and sprinkled on some roasted sesame seeds as well. Then drizzle on some of the dressing and enjoy. If you like sushi, I guarantee you're gonna love this bowl. It's been a favorite in our home for the last few months. Now moving on to the final bowl, the burrito nourish bowl with creamy guacamole. Again, we'll add a cup and a half of brown rice that's been soaked overnight to a pot, adding about two cups of water and one crushed vegetable bouillon cube. Bring it to a boil, then reduce it to a simmer with the lid partially covered. While this cooks, we'll finely chop one red and one yellow onion, finely mince three cloves of garlic, and coarsely chop about 15 medium-sized mushrooms. 
I then chop two medium bell peppers and thinly slice two cups of fresh spinach. For this recipe, I also used some vegan mock ground beef, which is much like veggie ground round you might find at the supermarket, but you can use beans or lentils if you'd like instead. To a pot on high heat, we'll add a teaspoon of olive oil and saute the onions until it's slightly browned, adding a splash of water as needed to deglaze the pan. After about five minutes, we'll add the garlic and saute for another couple minutes before we add the mushrooms and a package of burrito spice mix. Allow this to cook until the mushrooms have released most of their moisture. Then we'll add one tin of diced tomatoes, one tin of corn kernels, making sure to rinse and drain it first, the meat replacement, and the bell peppers. Then allow this to all cook for about 10 minutes. Meanwhile, we'll make the creamy guacamole using one ripe avocado, a clove of garlic, two teaspoons of sriracha hot sauce, and the juice of half a lime. Then blend it in a food processor until it's creamy. I also like to sprinkle on a little bit of chili flakes for a little extra kick of spicy, but this is optional, of course. To assemble the nourish bowl, we'll just add the rice as the base, and then I like to add some of the chopped spinach around the side before I then add the mushroom mixture on top. I love this recipe because it's super easy and can be very quick to make. I'm not somebody who minds using ingredients like canned tomatoes or corn or the burrito spice mix because they can make all the difference in speeding up recipes like this one. I then top these bowls with some of the creamy guacamole we've just made and garnish it as well with some fresh chives. As I've mentioned before, this is a great recipe to make a bigger batch of and store away to enjoy it for lunch or dinner in the days that follow. It's such a comforting dish in my opinion and super filling and nourishing too. Honestly, if you asked me to pick which was my favorite, I don't think I could do it. So I'm gonna leave the choosing up to you. Which one of these sparked your interest the most? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you do end up making any of these nourish bowls, please tag me on Instagram. I love seeing your creations and your twist to the pickup limes recipes. If you enjoyed this video, please also give it a thumbs up. It means the world to me when you do. And eight smaklik, as they say here in the Netherlands, which essentially means bon appetit. All right, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video.